Like many New Yorkers, Maureen Regan's wounds from September 11th haven't fully healed. I get broken up over this. Regan lived in the West Village at the time of the terrorist attacks. She says the events of that day made her reevaluate her whole life. I found for myself that my life was like unraveling and I couldn't understand what was going on. So we were like on a hamster wheel, working, coming home, working, coming home, and realized that I need to take a break. She stepped away from her corporate job and went back to school to study horticultural therapy. And in 2011, Regan, who now lives in Whitestone, founded Green Earth Urban Gardens, a nonprofit dedicated to providing therapy through gardening and maintaining the borough's parks. I found that 9-11, it was important People gathered in these spaces, and I think it helped with healing. And that our city is so busy, so it's important that we have these spaces to go to. Over the last five years, Regan has organized cleanups all across the borough, from Flushing to Jamaica Bay. And once a week, she volunteers her time helping young people with special needs. She gets her hands dirty and teaches them about gardening. See, it's so soft. Because of all their um, disabilities, they found like they could come to the garden and be safe. Regan says her journey since 9-11 has really opened her eyes to the power of healing through nature. I can't just go back to the old way of living. We need to have a balance. We forget often to breathe. And that's what gardening, I think, helps many people is like, I can breathe and just go on with my day. And so for using her green thumb for good, Maureen Regan is our Queen's Person of the Week. Leisha Maytan, New York One.